be strong. Be In a significant diplomatic move, representatives from the Japan International Cooperation Agency JICA, recently engaged in discussions with Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro of the Philippines. The primary focus of these talks was exploring possibilities for enhancing the Philippines' maritime domain awareness. What makes this encounter particularly noteworthy is the potential involvement of the Japanese military in providing equipment including the retirement-bound Fuji Bell On-1J Huey helicopters and Type 74 main battle tanks from the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force JGSDF. Japan, traditionally known for its civilian development projects, is now considering a paradigm shift by extending military assistance beyond surveillance systems. The aging yet formidable Type 74 main battle tank, slated for retirement in Japan, has emerged as a focal point of interest for the Philippine Armed Forces. This signifies a departure from the conventional role of JICA, signaling Japan's intention to contribute not only in terms of development aid but also in bolstering the security capabilities of its regional allies. Rumors have been circulating about a potential security cooperation grant from Japan to the Philippines. This grant, as speculated, could encompass both financial support and military equipment. The discussions have indicated a willingness on the part of Japan to relax restrictions on the export of excess defense articles, thereby allowing the transfer of combat-ready assets. The Type 74 main battle tank, affectionately dubbed the Iron Elephant, has a storied history as the backbone of the JGSDF. Built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, it was introduced as a complement to the earlier Type 61 tank. Despite not being widely used until the 1980s, the Type 74 boasts a design that incorporates the best features of contemporary tanks, placing it in the same league as the US M60 Patton and the German Leopard 1. The tank features an all-welded steel hull, divided into three compartments, the driver's compartment at the front, the fighting compartment in the center, and the engine compartment at the rear. With a driver positioned on the left side, equipped with advanced periscopes and infrared capabilities, the Type 74 is armed with the M68105 mm gun. Its reputation as a formidable piece of military machinery, despite its age, adds a layer of intrigue to the potential collaboration. Japan's consideration of relaxing restrictions on the export of excess defense articles is a noteworthy development. Currently, Japanese law only allows the transfer of such military equipment for disaster response and information gathering, not for combat purposes. The proposed plan to revise this law and include combat usable equipment in Japan's National Security Strategy White Paper signals a proactive approach towards supporting its allies in the region. While discussions are underway, it's crucial to acknowledge that these plans are still in flux. The proposal to revise laws and policies is slated for the end of 2022, with potential implementation by the end of 2023. As with any diplomatic initiative, unforeseen challenges and delays can arise. Therefore, it's essential to approach these developments with cautious optimism. If the transfer of Type 74 main battle tanks and other military equipment materializes, it could have significant implications for the Philippines. Max Defense Philippines has suggested considering the Type 74 as a training platform for future combined arms and armor maneuvers. The tank could play a vital role as a red force or enemy force during exercises, particularly when the planned AFP Combined Arms Training Center becomes operational. 
The potential collaboration between Japan and the Philippines reflects a broader trend in regional security dynamics. As countries reassess their strategic priorities and alliances, partnerships that bridge civilian and military assistance are becoming increasingly prevalent. Japan's willingness to contribute not only in terms of development aid but also in the security domain is a testament to the evolving geopolitical landscape in the Asia-Pacific region. In conclusion, the discussions between Japan and the Philippines regarding security collaboration and the potential transfer of military equipment are a significant development with far-reaching implications. The inclusion of combat-ready assets in Japan's aid portfolio signifies a departure from historical norms. As the details continue to unfold, the international community will be watching closely to see how this collaboration shapes the defense capabilities of the Philippines and influences broader regional dynamics. While uncertainties persist, the potential for a new chapter in Japan-Philippines relations is undoubtedly an intriguing prospect on the horizon.